Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Your boy JJ right here. And this is JJ's PC Builds. We're going to go ahead and roll that B-roll. We got a hot, hot topic for you coming up. And just to give you a little teaser of the topic, it's about graphics cards and their prices. You're going to like it, so make sure you stick around, and we will be right back. So do enjoy the show. Welcome back from that B-roll. Um, let's see, what do we got going on today? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the graphics cards and the on Amazon to see what's going on on the scamming side of it. Let's see, graphics card, we'll go to the 4080, or the 4090, and see what they got. Let's see if we can find a 4090. Uh, there's a 3090. Um... Let's see, currently unavailable. That's interesting, because you know, usually Amazon usually has the 4090. But as you can see, look where they got the 3090. Now, this right here, for a white 3090, $1,600. This has just become to a ridiculous part of a scam. Okay. Now, I like shopping on Amazon, but not when they got the 3090s. I mean, look at the 3080. It's half the price of the 3090. What is going on with everybody? Look at this. 3090 MSI, $1499. You know, they don't have any 3080s there. 3090, look at it, EVGA. Why are they charging for a 3090 $1,600 when they're charging for the 4090 $1,600? Okay, don't, there's got to be a pattern to this. I mean, twelve, thirteen dollars $1,300 for a 3080? Well, let me explain this. The prices a month ago were not like this. The prices were like half this. I mean, look, $23.99.99 for a gigabyte RTX 4090. Now, that's not MSRP. They got three left. That's not MSRP. I'm going to tell you that right there. MSRP is 1600 and look what they're charging. I mean, they got to be they got to be sick. I mean, they're trying to rob people. I mean, I'm sorry, you know. I'm going to I'm going to bust this right open and put this right up on here so you all see exactly why it's a bad time to buy. And I said this in previous videos that you're not going to get a better price until after the first of the year when the holidays are over you get you get an aftermarket sale and everything else best time to buy would be probably after the holidays now I'm going to explain that you know look at this 3090 Ti 1500 you know who, who in their right mind is going to pay that 
when you can get a 3050 right here, 8 gigabytes for 299. I mean, look at it, 449 for a 6700 XT. Well, they weren't going that. They weren't going up to that price about a month ago. They were a lot less. So, GPU sales are driving a lot of people away from buying sales. Look at this. Tesla V100 Voltra. Who's going to pay $8,974? I mean, look at it. NVIDIA Titan RX graphic card. $2,900. I mean... Look at RTX A5000, $1,945. Who the hell is going to pay this? Look at this, 3080, 949, 3090, $1,678. I mean, when y'all, if y'all got these graphics cards before these prices got inflated, God bless you. Because it, look, it looks like, you know, the, the, this is like inflated crap. I mean, even the 1050 Ti back about maybe five months ago, six months ago, was half that. So we're just going to go through the, the scamming of graphics cards. I mean, 849 for a 3080. I mean, for the 4080, they were... The 4080, the 12 gigabyte one, they were asking the same price. So what they're doing is to make up for the cost of uh, the loss on the 4080 12 gigabyte, they're inflating the prices on the the older graphics card to meet the demand. So basically, by the time you get one of the good graphics cards, look at this. 3080 12 gigabyte right here 2450 I mean I'm showing you guys real-time prices this is now this is today this is the 18th of October and this is the pricing they got look 3080 Ti 1000 I mean a 2060 318 the prices yesterday are different from the prices today, I can tell you that. $4090, $2,555. You gotta have some deep pockets for this. I mean, that's the reason why I stuck with the, uh, the integrated graphics is because of this. I mean, me as a consumer, as well as a YouTube creator, you know, I'm not going to pay this. I mean, this this kind of price, this is crap. I mean, an R RX 560, which is out of date, $189 for a 4 gigabyte GDR5 card. $189. They got to be they got to be thinking, you know, they got to think a little bit better. Oh, that's a good air cooler right there. But guess what? It's just an Intel one. A RX 550, 159 dollars. You know, I want you all to see this. You know, look at this. 3070, 999 dollars. This is Amazon. This is an eBay. So, look at this. A Quattro, which is definitely out of date, an 8 gigabyte GDR5. They don't even have a price for it. Look at this, 3080 Ti, $1,228, 3080 Extreme, $1,549, that's a 3080, you know, look at this, 899 these, these prices are so inflated, I, for, for, trust me, with the new, car, the new 4000 series that NVIDIA's got coming out. They should have took and decreased the prices on all their 30 series down to where they're reasonable. You know, I mean, come on. 
This is this is just ridiculous. This is just greed. Look at this. 3090 Ti Founders Edition. $1949. Amazon, you should be shot for these prices. I mean, this is this is just ridiculous. I mean, I'm hearing people all over the world, including in different countries other than the United States, are sitting there getting all this price gouging. As soon as the new cards come out, two days later, boom, guess what happens? Guess what happens? Prices get inflated. I mean, you're driving everybody to buy used instead of trying to do the right thing and put a warranty and everything else on it and sell them for a cheaper new price. When, when you're buying used, used cards for the price of new MSRP cards and you're getting no warranty with those cards and they're used so so the new and the old are the same prices this is just mad this this is just mad i mean who's going to pay 1600 bucks for a quattro quattro is out of date and it's gone i mean unless you're a unless you're a gpu collector or a pc part collector you know that might be up your alley but you know, like this, this uh, 3080 Titan, 12 gigs. It's got a P5. P5 means GDR5, and they put GDR6 when it's a P5. So you better watch your cards very closely, people. I mean, you know, I think when I have a live, when I go a live stream. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all this up again. I'm going to bring all this up again in uh, late November. So you all see. Look. A generic ATI 8 megabyte 32 bit PCI VGA graphics card. Not a lot of people have computers that run these. They want $25 for that card. That's just plain ridiculous. Those cards you can get all day at the swap meet for $2. And they're charging $24. Just ridiculous. And I'm sure if you pay $24 for that card, you're a fool. Look at this. This is the 4090, 2200. It's just, look at this. Fifth for RTX 5000 Quattro, sixteen hundred dollars, seventeen hundred dollars for a 3080 with water cooling. Okay, how inflated is that? So you take and you get the you find out what this cooler is and the actual price, and then you find the actual price of the cart, and you'll find out that. That's like not even worth it. I mean, this right here, this combination, I wouldn't pay no more for this 3080 Ti with, with this right here. I would pay no more than 700 bucks. And trust me, with your money, it's just, you gotta, you know, times are tight, inflation is high, but it's not that high. I think what they're smoking is making them that high. And I, you can quote me on that one. I mean, look, a 10 gigabyte 3080, 959. I mean, look at this, a, 30, a 32, NVIDIA, 32 meg. This is a 4X AGP video card. Look at that. A hundred and forty nine dollars. Look at this, people. A hundred and forty nine dollars for a VGA card. If that's the case, then I'll sell the VGA cards I got for three hundred dollars. And they come with they come with HDMI. They come with uh, 
um, display port you know hell I'll sell them for five hundred dollars I mean geez I mean this is just plain ridiculous I want you all to see this because the thing is is this you know y'all y'all don't get that chance of looking through the cards you know I mean this is not the price they're supposed to be selling these cards at and I'm just gonna make that point clear this is not the price they're supposed to be selling these cards at okay it's just it's just ridiculous how they're selling this I mean I you know I always re recommended people to shop at Amazon you know because they had good prices but now I'm not recommending nothing from Amazon look at this 30 who's gonna pay thirty nine hundred dollars for a thirty ninety a thirty ninety not a forty ninety a thirty ninety who the hell is gonna pay this look at this RTX 8000 Quattro it's almost six thousand dollars and let me ask you all some if, if you're you can leave a comment below about this but <coughs> if you're gonna pay that kind of money for a graphics card why spend ten thousand dollars to build a PC I mean think about it you get a six thousand dollar graphics card right and then after you get done adding the rest of it like the motherboard and so on you're over ten thousand dollars now to build a PC now when in my in my other videos I showed you the pricing the the maximum and the minimum that was back about maybe a couple weeks ago maybe less that the prices were a little high but not high this the prices are ridiculous I mean look at it I mean investigate it for yourself go to Amazon I mean how how stupid can they be by selling all this for this kind of price over inflating something that's not worth it I mean not worth it I mean I'm sorry Amazon you guys have dug your own hole on this one and there's nothing I can do to help you with this this is just plain ridiculous and I am gonna post this video because I ain't scared to post the video but I'm just telling you the ridiculousness of this look at this a card that's one gigabyte that's 64 bit that's 32 dollars that's that right there that that card right there this right here this card this is no different than the AMD P5 240 one gigabyte card this is an Nvidia GT 210 they're the same shit oh stuff sorry I apologize I didn't mean to say the S word oh 8 gigabytes 3070 743 would never pay that a 2080 super for the win comes with 8 gigabytes GDR6 1095 would never pay that even the RX 560 4 gigabytes two hundred and fourteen dollars now that's an out-of-date card who is gonna pay two hundred and fourteen dollars for that I mean look at this a 7 GT 710 <coughs> sixty nine dollars now for two gigabytes sixty nine bucks uh, that's sensible this card right here is sensible for a 1050 Ti, not sensible. Um, 
40 90 25 2600 dollars not not sensible you're you're paying for price to fps i mean really why why would you pay all that just to get that fps i mean it's just it's not logical to pay that price i mean for a 730 I know it's PCI 2.0, but it's $89. It's eight lanes. Eight lanes isn't bad. For this price point, for this, that's not bad. For four gigabytes, DDR3, that's not bad. But this, this is ridiculous. That's a monster. That's a monstrous price. 3060 12 gigabytes 669 dollars but let's let's switch over to the AMD side okay AMD Red Devil 6950 1199 that's still too high 6900 XT 669 from 849 well I can give them that there that price is coming down 6700 XT 12 gigabytes 449 and it was eh that's not really a deal you're only saving about 1% there um RX 5500 4 gigabytes 149 uh, it's equal to a 1660 super but a 1660 Super gives you 6 gigabytes instead of 4. So, uh, price point, maybe. The 550 or 560, 4 gigabytes? No, I would never pay that. 4 gigabytes, 189? Still wouldn't pay that. 131 you see you see how these cards are marked okay this one's an ITX and it's hundred and thirty one dollars so but it's a x16 3.0 DVI HDMI okay that card 131 bucks maybe but the drivers are still out of date the drivers are out of date with this one. You know, I mean, who would pay for this? $105. That's ridiculous. 5450, 2 gigabyte, DDR3, 64 bucks. No. 5450, 54 bucks. Reasonable. Reasonable. Um, 1 gigabyte. DDR5 6 uh, ATI HD 6670 uh not reasonable not worth it so what we did was we went through all the graphics cards that that so called Amazon has now we can go and check out eBay we'll do a quick eBay well, you know what? No, I'm just going to save this video right here for Amazon. We'll do eBay next time. <coughs> but anyway, this is the pricing we're going through. Okay? There's people that are crossed in the, in the European country that are having the same problems. Price gouging. A lot of price gouging going on with a lot of these places. So do be careful and watch what you buy because you're going to be price gouged. And if you've watched any of my videos, you'll see in my videos where we did pricing on uh, graphics cards and everything else. The prices were not this high. So make sure you look at those videos all the way through. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump out of here for now. 
we got more videos to come so do like and subscribe because if you subscribe we need 1,000 subscribers to get up to the mark to where we can really open up on YouTube and grow and everything else and like the videos and watch the videos from the time you start it to the time you end it this gives us watch time on the videos we need 4,000 hours of watch time and we would appreciate you all watch the videos completely through but we're gonna go ahead and jump out of here till the next time this is JJ your boy we will see you in the next video